What's up gamers, Red Dragon here, and we are covering the latest news. So today we finally got to hear about DirectX 12. Microsoft got on stage with AMD, Nvidia, and a few others, and they are all working together with DX12. So I'm going to kind of briefly go over what was talked about, what we know so far. Uh, Microsoft honestly kind of was vague about it themselves. So again, they're kind of teasing along, you know, they're going to be showing more up and coming stuff later on. But anyway, here's what we know. They did say that DX12 is going to increase the performance of the Xbox One and Xbox One games. They didn't really go into detail about how much, at least I didn't hear that. There were some news sites that were reporting that Xbox or Microsoft was saying that Xbox One games could see like a 20% increase, for instance, in frames. So I don't know exactly where they heard that, but I did see that show up in several different news sites. So anyway, DX12 brings about optimizations. Uh, they said it also brings about new rendering features and tools for developers. They didn't really go too much into detail with that, but they did say that it does increase overall performance and, of course, allows uh, developers to get closer to the hardware. So they said, for instance, they've been able to lower the CPU utilization by up to 50% in some cases, at least so they claim, by simply moving over to DX12, which makes the workload lighter, but also by expanding the workload and letting more cores take on the work. They said with DX11, it ran mo mainly on one core, whereas DX12 is going to take advantage of multi-cores. So the system just works flat out a lot better and smoother. In order to demonstrate this, they did show off a copy of Forza, running on the PC at a steady 60 frames per second. And so they mentioned that it took a short amount of time in order to translate and move this game from Xbox's DX11 over to DX12. And they said simply by moving the game, they automatically got optimizations and better performance out of that move. Now this is going to be great for gaming in period. And to tell you the truth, it's going to help out PC gaming a lot more than it helps out Xbox One gaming because Xbox One is already pretty close to the hardware, uh, but apparently this is going to get it even better and even closer. But uh, PC is definitely going to take an advantage, and if you're a PC owner, they said th the chances are, they said by the time DX12 comes out, they believe that 50% of PC gamers will already have the hardware in place to run DX12. So they said if you recently bought a new GPU or you're about to buy a new GPU, it's going to be DX12 compliant. Now, in somewhat related news that this didn't happen inside this particular conference, but there was an interview that they were talking with a Microsoft employee and he was asked about the 1080p resolution deal. He said, look, games are going to be in 1080p in the future. He has no doubt about that. He said games are going to be looking better and higher resolution in the future. He said whenever the games first released, he said the developers didn't have the tools in place. He says the tools now are beginning to come into place. As far as DX12 tools go, uh, if Forza was already being shown and they said it took, I think like a month or maybe it was four months. I don't remember how, what exactly it was. But anyway, uh, apparently some people have already had the dev tools for a few months. They said a few more are going to be coming online in April and they're going to deliver those to some third-party developers. And they said they're also going to open it up and allow people to try to get into the program early. But they said the full release for DX12 is coming in 2015, but they said that there is a preview that is going to be coming on later this year. Now, what exactly that means, who knows? It could possibly mean that a game is being built right now for the Xbox One that's going to take advantage of DX12. We will just have to wait 
to find out. Uh, but anyway, as far as that guy saying that more games are going to be uh, 1080p in the future, another story that I meant to do a video on over the last few days and I just haven't uh, had time, I was reading a uh, pretty lengthy tech interview with Respawn. They were talking about Titanfall and uh, Microsoft and the Xbox One and they were going into the cloud and uh, working with uh, the hardware and everything else. Well, anyway, buried in that article that didn't get much attention was an old story. Remember whenever I did a story telling you that uh, Microsoft had told developers that they were going to free up several percentage, I forgot what it was, I think it was like, I want to say 8%. For some reason, I'm thinking it was 8% like of the GPU resources were going towards the Kinect, and they were going to free that up and allow developers to use that for games. Well, a lot of people thought that this had already been put into place. Well, Respawn was saying just last week, I believe it was uh, on the 13th that this was uh, printed up, so it would have been a week ago. They said that this still hasn't happened. So... Regardless of how much performance boost, you know, DX12 brings the Xbox One in the upcoming few months, the good news is developers are still apparently handicapped when it does come to developing for the Xbox One. They still don't have all the resources that Microsoft has supposedly going to, uh, they're going to free up they said. So we will definitely keep an eye on it. All these links and stories down in the description box, there's going to be a lot down there because there was a lot of different stories and each one kind of broke into something different. Uh, I'll also put out the other stories that I just talked about with the, the guy from Microsoft talking about 1080p and I'll also link the Titanfall article uh, talking about how Microsoft still hasn't freed up those resources. If you want to stay tuned with the latest gaming news and information, stay tuned right here to this channel. Again, Microsoft was kind of vague. They're saying, look, we're going to be sharing more information with you as time rolls along. So as time rolls along, roll along with me, subscribe, and drop a like on your way out. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.